Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching all the beer no idea. I'm Baz, we're back with another one, like I say. So what we got coming up now is a beer from Belgium. And it's one that my good mate Dean bought for me. Uh, met up with him a couple of weeks ago in Coventry. Uh, we met up in Beer Gonzo and then popped up to an off license up the road. And this one stuck out because of Chris's beer reviews, but we'll go into that in a minute. And uh, I picked that up and he said, I'll get you that one. So. That's it, so you picked it up for so thank you very much Dean, much appreciated. And like I say, you're off to Belgium, and we have a bottle of Lef Aradius coming in at 8.2% in a 330ml bottle. Uh, nice label, I do like the old Lef branding. Uh, funny enough, there's 11 Lefts out on the perfect draft that I've got over there, and this isn't one of them. Uh, I don't know how many more there are, I don't know I've got, if, if pretty much, that's the full range, what's on the PD in this, I don't know, but uh, like I say, it's not on perfect draft, I've never tried it, and after watching Chris's beer reviews, uh, review of this, I thought, definitely need to try that one. So here we are, it's here, £3.70 this cost, Dean, thank you very much, mate. Left glass at the ready, so let's uh, shut up, get it out, hopefully it's not going to explode, and uh, see what we get. Hope you're all well, hopefully this is going to be a, a decent review for you all. Missed a few days. I did do one yesterday and I only put it up today. Not one of my finest ones, I don't think. As if I have many fine ones. <laughs> anyway, shut up with a whiffle waffle. And we've got with the beer review, so beer in a glass. It's it's almost oh, I don't know, we'll call it chestnut, but it almost has a, a red hue in there. Uh, almost ruby-like, if you like, but ruby's a lot more redder. But this this is more chestnut, but it has a red hue in there. Carbonation, plenty of carbonation off the bottom of the glass going up the centre. We've got a finger of compact, just slightly off-white head, I would say. Looks like a typical Lef, so uh, let's not hang around. Let's give her a swirl, give her a sniff and see what we get. I have no... I, I can't remember Chris's re review offhand. So I, I have no idea what it's going to be like. So let's just crack on. Ooh. Definitely more of the, I mean, yeah, it's sort of dark there, isn't it? And it's definitely that sort of dark, dark sort of aroma. You're getting that typical left yeastiness, that sort of funky, funky aroma in there. It smells, you know, 8.2%. It has got a little bit of a boozy smell. Maybe a little bit sweet as well. And even maybe a little kind of bitter edge on the nose. But as for pulling anything out specific, I am struggling a bit. I think that's just me. Anyway, shut up sniffing and let's go in for the taste. Cheers, Dean. Cheers, everyone. Okay, very smooth, very soft in the mouth, a nice creamy body to it from that head. Carbonation's lovely, lots of tiny little bubbles that just caress the inside of your mouth. Now, what I do remember Chris saying is that if, I, if I'm correct, and correct me if I'm wrong, I could be wrong, but I'm certain Chris said, you really don't get that 8.2%. And I don't know if I totally agree with him there. This this is at room temperature. Uh, it's been in the fridge. I think it's supposed to be served at about five, I think, or six, I tried seeing on the bottle. Uh, but this, is, this has been out for a while. So I sometimes think, with the beer being warmer, it does enhance the sort of feel of the alcohol. But for me, uh, I think you get that 8.2%. I'm not saying it's a nasty feeling, but there's definitely the warm in there. You definitely get that sort of booziness to it. Very yeasty. God, I'm struggling with this one, you know. 
very yeasty, boozy. That's what I was trying to pick out with it. The aniseed, aniseed, licorice. And that's the sort of booziness you're getting in there. You're getting them sort of real rich, dark sort of flavors. And, and that sort of complements the alcohol content in it. Like I said, although you're getting it, it's not unpleasant. And that's the sort of alcohol content you're getting in this beer. It's that aniseed licorice kind of thing going on. It's quite rich, it's quite heavy. It's a little bit sort of dark fruity, maybe sort of a figgy raisin thing going on in there as well. Even maybe an inkling of sort of a a caramel thing going on there but only an inkling I think maybe that sort of dark richness of the of the licorice and that slight sweet edge to it is maybe fooling me but I could be wrong but is it any good because I've rambled on for ages now it is good it's it's a typical sort of boozy little Belgium ale. Uh, it's almost sort of like a, a strong double or a, a, a bit of a light a triple, but, but it's a very decent beer. It's very drinkable. I think Chris said that it's very drinkable and it is very drinkable. I do think you do get the booziness in there though for myself, but uh, Left Radius coming in at 8.2% uh, is a winner for me. It's a uh, it's one of them, well, I mean, any beer really at sort of 8% generally. It's one of them, sit down, put your feet up and enjoy sort of beers. But but this is definitely in that category. Very drinkable, very tasty. I'm trying to think, would I, would I class it as a triple? For me, it's, for me, it's a, it, I mean, Brune's a double, isn't it? But this seems to be a, a little bit Brune on steroids for me, but a very decent drink. So let's end it there. So, uh, yeah, you've heard my views on Left Radius. Excellent beer. Give it a go if you like the old Belgium sort of double style for me. Uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe, and I will see you again on another one of these reviews. Cheers.